First of all, I think the area around Javits never developed for two reasons. I'm talking about after you know the kind of waterfront uses of the manufacturing had died out. One was it wasn't rezoned for anything else. And two was there's no transportation. I think fundamentally that's what it comes down to. If you look at the history of New York City, where there's been the zoning in place and where there's been transportation, growth has happened. Right? With absent those things, growth wasn't going to happen. So I'm not sure that there was ever a good argument that the convention center by itself or the stadium by itself was ever going to spawn development. And I'm not sure that's anything the Hoover administration was ever saying. I don't think anyone ever said, well, you just have to build a stadium and they will come. It was part of a larger package of also zoning and building parks and building transportation. Right? I think the reason the jury's still out on the stadium question, and I will go bravely on the gangplank, right, is that look, the Jets were going to put a billion dollars into this thing and help seal a big hole in the ground. And if you look at the situation we're in right now with the rail yards, right, the, 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 the most difficult launching point is how do you fund two platforms that cost somewhere on the order of $750 million each just to get to land. And so the notion that someone was going to come along and help, not, you know, there was public subsidy there, I'm not saying there wasn't, right? But they were still going to spend a billion dollars plugging a big, ugly hole in the ground, right? I don't think that that in and of itself can be dismissed, you know, as, as, as a bad idea. What I found the most fascinating about the stadium discussion I, mean, I went to public meeting after public meeting and had tomatoes thrown at me and, you know, the thing that was always interesting, the biggest question was, well, where's the tailgating going to go? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the question was absolutely not prepared to answer. And I think the actual reason that that was the question is because football, unlike baseball or basketball, is a suburban sport, right? It's not an urban sport. Right? And somehow I think New Yorkers accept the notion that there are baseball stadia and there's basketball arenas, right? and there's concert venues. But football has this connotation, I think, to a lot of New Yorkers about you know, these big people eating out of the back of their SUVs. <laughs> I don't know what it quite was. Right? And I'm not, I'm, I'm not convinced that that's what it would have been. You know, it's interesting. People talked about the traffic for the stadium. That was the big, that was the big issue. The, when you look at the numbers, the traffic on the stadium was never anywhere near as bad as putting downtown Minneapolis on the side of on the west side of Manhattan, which is still a problem we haven't solved, by the way, right? In terms of you know, this is why we need congestion pricing and other things. But I don't know, Charlie. I, I think the jury's still out. I don't think it's such a cockeyed idea. Well, it was an excellent serve, but I'm going to interrupt you. It was, a, it was a, I remember this game is three on one. So it was an excellent serve, and I think a strong, deep, deep ball was returned. Um, uh, let's go down the line and then go back, because I'm sure that uh, Charlie's gearing up. Uh, I